Welcome back to Finney's Garage, it's Gray here, and today we're going to be doing something I've been waiting for for the longest time ever. When I got this car, the carpet looked like maple syrup, or somebody had spilled maple syrup on it. It was absolutely disgusting. I mean, just take a look at it for yourself. It's, I, I can't even begin to say, like, my thoughts on it. We have taken out the center console and the seats, so everything is ready for the carpet to come out of the car. The center console was such a pain to take out and the reason why it was so difficult is because the person that owned the car before me never cleaned this car or at least i don't think he did and he drank a ton of coke and he spilled a lot of that in this car this coke turned into like a syrup and it made everything in the center console turn to like glue and we're not going to be able to install the new carpet and let me show you why no rust anywhere until you get right here and then you're like uh-oh that's not good so uh i am going to take care of this after i take the carpet out because i want to see is there rust or any other areas in the interior of the car that are like this i hope that i do not have to take this plastic interior panel off but i think i will the only reason why i don't want to take this off is because i got to take the seat out because there's this little thing here and that's kind of a pain, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's remove everything out of the interior of the car to the outside because it's a fantastic day. And then we will get to taking out that carpet over there. I'm also not going to throw away this carpet. I'm going to wait and hold on to it until I'm ready to put the new carpet in because I'm not sure if the new carpet has those little cubby things or the holes cut for, you know, the, the, the air underneath the seats and then the bolts that hold the seats in. Because if it doesn't, then I'm going to use this as a template. But let's start getting out this carpet, seeing how gross, disgusting, or how clean it is underneath the carpet. I don't know which part of the car I want to start on first cleaning. Do I want to do the front? Do I want to do the back seat, the front seat, or the back seat, or the very back? But I guess since we're going to be doing the carpet tomorrow, we should work on the main section here, and then we'll get to this, because the carpet's actually in two separate pieces. It's one piece here, separate piece back here. I'll work on the non-dirtiest side, but then we are going to have to tackle all of this here, which is going to be fun.
I want to give you guys a little bit of an update to the driver's side. So I finished cleaning it all. So we're going to start from the top or the front and work our way down towards the back. This is what it looks like. Now I'm about to begin on the passenger side. This is what it looks like. So you get an idea of like before, after, you know. So the, the passenger side is much worse than the driver's side. So I'm interested to see if it's going to come out like the same cleanliness or if it's going to look kind of like that. So let's get to it and see. And this is the end result. Well, kinda. I still have to do this, but I will do that in another video because that is insanely dirty. But look, this is how the driver's side turned out. Really, really clean. Passenger side looks amazing. And then the back. I mean, you guys saw what it looked like before we started. It was a mess. It was absolutely disgusting. And now, it looks really good. We have taken the carpet out, we've cleaned it, we've degreased it, it is ready to go. If you enjoy the video and you want to see more content on my 1999 Mitsubishi Montero, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But guys, until next time, I will see you later. Have an amazing day.